Today, we're remembering Jake Burton Carpenter taking Snowy Laps and Breck as a tribute. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. It's day three of a three-day storm, dropping up to 10 inches total across the county, and it is still snowing. Skiers and riders at Breckenridge were loving a fresh four to five inches overnight, like John from Blue River. Stoke is high. We got about four inches of fresh up here. You can't get better than that. Ben from Kansas was taking laps with his family, explaining how he convinced his dad to switch from skiing to riding. I never skied, but I just thought snowboarding was cooler, you know. This Wednesday, Jake Burton Carpenter, the founder of Burton Snowboards, died at 65 years old from complications with cancer. And yesterday, local Olympic medalist Red Gerard was at Copper taking a tribute lap for Jake. At Breck, we wanted to know, who are you taking a tribute lap for today? Kevin from Breck. Tribute laps today are for my dad. He's the reason I moved out here and I'm into snowboarding and living the dream. Jack is in town with a college friend, Philip, and this lap is for him. Uh, I gotta give this guy credit. He's the one who taught me how to snowboard. Forecasters say snow will taper off through the day for blue skies tomorrow and Sunday. Authorities today identified the person killed in a head-on collision yesterday as 28-year-old Alicia Bishop of Denver. Bishop was killed when the pickup truck she was driving collided with a semi-truck on U.S. Highway 6 between Keystone and Dillon near the landfill. The semi-truck driver was uninjured. This is the third fatality on U.S. 6 since October when two people were killed and six hospitalized in another head-on collision. That investigation is ongoing through Dillon PD. It's the season of new executives for Vail Resorts, with new chief operating officers at Keystone, Vail, and Beaver Creek. Taking the helm at Keystone is Jody Churick, coming to Colorado from Park City. The Vail Daily reports Nadia Guerrero is new head honcho at Beaver Creek, replacing Beth Howard, now COO at Vail Mountain. It's the second time those two have traded places since 2016, when Guerrero replaced Howard at North Star in Tahoe. Guerrero is a CU Boulder grad and former manager for Olympic medalist Johnny Mosley. Howard is a Vail Resorts Lifer. Hey, all you home office workers, there's a new co-working space in Silverthorne. Yesterday was grand opening of Summit Shared Space, the first co-working space in Silverthorne and third in the county behind Elevate Co Space of Breck and Ebo 3 in Frisco. Summit Shared Space is at 249 Warren Avenue. Memberships start at $120. Avalanche danger remains moderate today after up to 10 inches across the county since Wednesday. Your problems are still wind drift on top of old weak snow on north through east facing aspects. If there's enough snow to ride, there's enough snow to slide. In sports, the Avalanche lost to the Wild last night 3-2. to Tonight, the Nuggets face the Celtics at 7. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, the A-Basin Rise and Shine Rando Series continues next Tuesday, November 26th, where Rory Kelly and Sierra Anderson are defending champs from the opening race. Get registered through ArapahoBasin.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.